Leprosy is the oldest uh, recorded disease, making appearances in both Egyptian hieroglyphs and even in the Bible. But despite its prevalence in various cultures over the course of human history, scientists still don't know how people become infected with leprosy. And this um, is really, uh, this fear of the unknown spread is really dangerous, particularly for women, because uh, women are, when they are diagnosed with leprosy, are ousted from their families and communities and sometimes have their children forcibly removed from their care. This is really bad news for women like Muni, who was diagnosed a few years ago, and for the hundreds of thousands of other women who are newly diagnosed with leprosy each year. The good news is that the World Health Organization provides leprosy treatment for free for anyone who's diagnosed with leprosy. But the bad news is that because we still don't know how people are getting leprosy in the first place, there's not really an end to this disease in sight. This is where I come in. I study the bacteria in human milk, and my hypothesis is that women who have leprosy have the leprosy-causing bacteria, Mycobacterium leprae, in their milk, and that one way to become infected with leprosy is while you're a baby during breastfeeding. To test this hypothesis, I worked with a team of researchers at a Nandaban hospital in Nepal, as well as the National Hansen's Disease Program, which is the Leprosy Research Center in the United States. And together we came up with a molecular test to test human milk for the leprosy bacteria, even if there's only a few bacteria in the sample. What I found, uh, I, in November, I went to Nepal and tested the milk of nine women with leprosy and eight women who did not have leprosy. And what I found is that in two of the women with leprosy, there was the leprosy bacteria in their milk. But the most interesting part of this is that those two women had donated their sample, unlike the rest of the women in the leprosy group, prior to starting the treatment for leprosy which suggests that though the bacteria may be present in the milk sample, it goes away once you start treatment. An important thing to remember when you're thinking about these results is that we did not test whether or not these bacteria were alive or dead. If they are not alive, they represent no risk to the baby. And even if they are alive, there's a lot of work to be do done before we could make the conclusion that leprosy can be transmitted through breastfeeding. Regardless, these results are important and have already changed the trajectory of leprosy research by encouraging women to seek treatment before they start to show signs and symptoms of leprosy, which prevents disfigurement. And to leave you on a happy note, this woman, Muni, was able to actually meet another leprosy patient during treatment. They fell in love, they were both completely cured of leprosy, and they recently had their first baby together. <laughs>